Yeah, seeking for a five minutes game, playing no increment this time. Opponents rated almost uh, 2,000, so we'll try to keep up and uh, take down this Slav defense setup after he plays c6. Now they either play bishop f5 or bishop g4 or e6, which is quite, um, yeah, not critical. Going for the triangle Slav against the London system is not really great at all. Like, this is only interesting when white plays with, like, let's say, some kind of d4, d5, c4, and then knight c3. It can be interesting to steal the pawn, but this way it's not doing much against the London players, so... I'll just start with 95. Go c5, threatening that. So we want to meet c4 with bishop back. I think, uh, yeah, you can just get my queen involved. Stopping 94. Goes 97. I think now, uh, yeah, well, we could castle, could play h4. That is a candidate for me. More of a fan of h4 in general. I would have preferred to get like the queen h3 kind of business going on but it seems a bit premature here since he hasn't committed to castling and on h6 isn't that a sign to just uh, keep pushing just go g4 g5 to me it looks to be exactly that okay i think i'll just get h5 and then queen g3 knight df3 i think that's a plan okay, you're taking with a pawn generally when we have this structure Knight goes to d7. Really understandable. He's probably just preparing c4, knight c5, if you ask me. I think rook d1 could be a good move. And uh, try to play for e4 break. He's hitting e5, so I think just queen g3 to protect should be good. And yeah, just preparing some kind of e4 break. I think that's the main plan. Okay, when he goes long castle e4... Is no longer the plan. E4 was the plan if let's say he was playing bishop e7 or staying in the middle, then this was tempting. But okay, against Long Castle, I think we have to just start uh, doing something like a4. It's opposite castling, so it's about trying to get in the initiative. So a4 is definitely very tempting to me. C4 just bishop c2. Yeah, I'm no longer going to b1 because I want to keep this uh, square available for the rook. And we have a very juicy square on d4 and knight b6. Seems a bit inaccurate to me because the knight would have had more potential on uh, c5. So against this move, I can go knight d4. He wants b3, I guess. And the bishop is a little passive. I wonder if we can play b3. C b3, bishop takes. Yeah, that looks good to me, just trying to open files. CB4, bishop takes, and then king e2. Could be interesting, but I feel like my king could be exposed. Also could do CB4 and then just king f1, king g1, king h2. That's perhaps the easiest. So yeah, I think we just do that. No need to play fancy b3. Even though it was quite logical, I think this is just way easier. It will take a bit of time to... Coordinate our pieces, but I think should be all good. Just knight d4, making sure the bishop never activates with d4. Don't really mind him pushing. It's only creating additional weaknesses. King on e2 is a bit unsafe to this kind of stuff, so that's why I'm trying to get it all the way to h2. Place king b8. We're just continuing our mission. Bishop to c5, still just ignore. If he takes, I think maybe taking with the rook could also take it with a pawn. Now if I play b3, yeah, I think we like b3 here. With a simple idea of trying to take and open up the b file. So uh, could consider bishop d3 with plan to go rook b1, rook takes, but I think this is simplest and good enough. Preparing to do this and his king is going to be weaker than mine. That's what I'm trying to say in this position. King go rook b1. Now I have to calculate a bit on bishop takes d4. And intuitively that feels completely winning. Maybe just bishop a4 is simplest in that position. Because ed4, queen takes, maybe not so obvious. 
But then, okay, so I think we've got perhaps bishop takes d5. Okay, I think we've got bishop takes d5. He takes d5. Yeah, I think this is beautiful. Watch this. This is so good. And I've got some tricks because it looks like he's getting a lot of pieces for the queen now. If we play rook b6, he has bishop takes and he's got so many pieces. But we have actually ed4. And this is attacked and he cannot play bishop b3. Watch this. This is so beautiful because now after this move, the queen has opened up. And this way we're just uh, yeah, going to have rook and... Uh, Minor piece only for the queen, so we're completely winning. We have queen c3, queen a5. Um, yeah, okay, I actually don't see the immediate mate. Maybe just bishop c1 is a move. Trying to read out this guy. Goes g6. Okay, bring the bishop. Queen a5, what is my mate? He's threatening rook g2, but that's only one check. I can give him here. Oh, he goes there. That should be just rook c1, no? Okay, we should be having mate. quite in time so all right i think that was perhaps pretty clean game i'm gonna run a game review and i'm gonna guide you a little bit through what was going on in my mind during the game because i had to go a bit quicker there computer only gives me an 84 score for some reason to me it felt like a cleaner game but maybe the opening was quite um was quite weird and I think I lost a lot of points there for the game review because yeah it was just very strange and I was just kind of guessing yo Jonathan welcome to the stream how are you how's it going nice to see you thank you for that Orochi Marco appreciate it yes you cannot see the engine but do you mind not seeing the engine I can actually maybe make a scene at some point so that you can see it. Okay, I'll actually do it in a very professional way. If you guys really want to see the engine, just for you, because you are my friends. This is all you get, yeah? It's as professional as it gets. <laughs> just remind me not to start this way. So, knight b6, a b5. Yeah, okay, so basically knight b6 was very strange move. After I went for uh, a4, he should have tried this b4 move. And then not so clear. Super polished, I know, thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, yeah, okay, b4 I would have reacted similar to the game and probably just castled. Still with knight f3, knight d4, b3 ideas, this looked interesting to play, but I agree it's not that clear. So after he plays knight b6, it should be a big advantage. Now, on b4, I was thinking of the b3 move, which is maybe just super silly. Wait, why is this minus 3? I saw this f4, knight d2, I was like, okay, maybe this is interesting. But then knight c4 and minus 4, you idiot. Wow. <laughs> I was like, maybe this is playable, but okay, let's keep it simple. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. After playing the simple way, it's just plus 2. Yeah, so that's why, guys, this is confirmed. That's why you need to keep it simple. Keeping it simple, plus 2. Making it interesting, minus 4. You can connect the dots. Rook b1 best. Wait, how not bishop d5 best? Ah, bishop d5 mistake because of bishop b2, but still that's losing for him. Yeah, and then the whole point was that after ed, he no longer has bishop b3. Because, by the way, I think it's not too late to spoil this thing. Because if you go rook b6, I think you lose. 
Okay, losing would be a strong word, but if you somehow don't find e4 here, you will lose. Because he's got uh, two minor pieces and a rook for the queen, which is usually winning. So it was very easy to mess up this game, but not after we got it this way. Yeah, my technique was so slow here in getting the mate, but you know, not perfect, but it gets the job done. So that's all that matters. All right, guys, I'll have to uh, adjust the layout now. We did the professional uh, streamer thing to adjust this and go for the next game. Hope you guys uh, notice the quality of the production and appreciate it. And yeah, we can just go for the next uh, game. All right, getting the white pieces, facing almost a 2,000 rated opponent. So uh, yeah, let's see what they have in mind against our London. Would be interesting to see C5 main lines. So far, we have run... Okay, finally, we're running against C5. Like, I wanted to say, never really... I mean, maybe never, it's again, strong statement, but rarely we have seen them pushing C5 so far below 1900, which is quite insane. A lot of Slav, Copycat, and Chigorin, basically, and King Zind in here and there. So he plays C4, and now... I don't think we have covered this exact position in the court, but we have covered something very similar. And the idea, as explained in the course, is whenever black is setting up the pawns this way, uh, that we need to go for e4, e5 break. That is basically the main plan. Just gonna go c3, idea to go queen c2, e4. Hey, Pidnator, welcome to the stream, what's up? Okay, bishop d6, just exchange and keep same idea. Go for e4. Against bishop d6, bishop g3, I guess, was alternative, but this is even simpler. And just go for the break, as promised. Threatening to grab even more space if allowed. If not, then okay, d4, watch out. Knight c4 could be a strong move. So perhaps this is kind of a must for him. If he's not careful, I think we tax him. One takes allowing knight takes c4. I don't think it's great. Okay, queen b6. So he's not interested in taking. Then we just push. It did not it is not gonna give us like a winning attack right away. Because we don't have the bishop onto this diagonal, but leading to interesting play, I think. Okay, f6. Quite a double-edged uh, move. <laughs> also, maybe I could have considered knight g5, but it didn't really feel like the position to play that. Mm. I could ignore it and go h5. But I think we just take it here. Takes it with the rook, then knight g5 seems to be a thing. Creating big threat to infiltrate, so knight g5 probably plays um, g6. Maybe we can get the other knight. I think I like that. Threatening this. Okay, knight f8 is a bit slow, so I think g6. And then just the other knight goes there. The h6, maybe we even ignore it. Okay, not sure we can actually ignore it. Might have to drop to h3 and try to maneuver. But his king's pawns are going to be like pretty weak, so I think that should compensate. So g6, can we go for something like super aggressive? Kind of doubt, but maybe it's interesting. What if h6 in that position? Then if we begin to take, he takes our knight. Maybe g7. And there's rook f5, but then g4. Maybe that's interesting. You know, whenever I say it's interesting, maybe it's like minus four. Something like that. So uh, okay, rook g6 is not a move. At the very least, there's knight h7. So uh, yeah, just uh go for that. Rook is hanging. King takes h5, just win it. That was not one of my candidates there for black. Should have played g6 and maybe h5 was better than I was thinking it would be. 
Now he's healing my knight. Just go back. Enjoy the free pawn. Play z5. Ah, oh, knight c4. Shall we? Shall we play just for content? You guys like plays for content. But they are not good for my rating, so I don't know. Okay, I think we played for content. Come on. That has to be a move. And I'm not even going to try to mate him. I'm going to play like nothing happened. I'm going to go for Long Castle and just say, okay, what are you going to do now? You're up a piece, so what? Take in. King of 8, I guess. Long Castle. Yeah, let's see. I don't know. With these pieces, I'm not that afraid. Can tell you that. In knight c6. Now, you play queen f5, but then knight f6. Hmm. If I check him, that's not like really so effective. How about pawn move? Oh, I can give a pretty. Big check. Hmm, many options. Okay, I like the check. Patser sees the check, gives a check. So. King g 97 win the rook. So I think he has to stay somewhere. Hey, thank you for the gifts up to... Pete Nader, thank you for that, Jonathan. Really appreciate the support, mate. You're too kind. Thank you for that, man. And another one for Orochi. Dude, you're too nice. Thank you. <laughs> so he gives it back, and I guess he wants 94. But now I was thinking Rook D4. He goes Queen E6. Hmm. Yeah, what's this, guys? Let's calculate. Wish I knew how to calculate. Hmm. And we've got another sub for the Sparks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for that, Jonathan. Man, I'm gonna get flagged. Need to focus. You're trying to distract me. I thought you were all nice, but in reality, you're trying to distract me. All right, what do we play? 94. I really wanted rook d4. That's like only move, really. Queen e6. And then... Yeah, like the point was uh, e d4, there's queen f5 or queen g6 mating. Against this, my rook's hanging, so maybe just bring the other guy in. Okay, there's queen h6. A little problematic. Hmm. Okay, what is the most efficient way to do this? Okay, I think maybe rook d3. Trying some stuff like that. Knight c5, maybe rook d8, actually. I think we give the check, we just bring in the rook, and his pieces are kind of tied down. It's hard for him to bring this guy into the game. Need to bring the other rook. Mm. Okay, I'm guessing king e7, protecting this guy. Okay, if he goes knight e7, what? I haven't actually considered that. Oh no, then rook d7 wins. Watch out. Bishop d7, rook 8, and we have extra exchange. So he's gonna do it? No, he just plays b6. That feels slow. So I'm thinking, okay, queen g6 looks super juicy. Queen g6, queen f7, and there feels like it should be a win. Maybe not a direct one, but at least like queen g5 kind of move. Queen f7, come on, what is it? There has to be something. Okay, I think I'll just do this, keeping tension, both here and there. This position becomes very tough to protect. And now bishop b7 actually allows rook d7, because his knight is pinned. Watch out. Watch out for that, guys. But king e6, it's funny, I don't see checkmate. Okay, maybe I use the other rook and just win his queen. Yeah, bishop b7, I use the other rook. Rook here. King e6 made him win through d6. He does that, but now he's completely giving up on this guy. So we take, he plays queen f7, and what is my win? So we have, like, what, queen h8, and he's completely paralyzed. 
Uh, that has to be something quicker. Enduruk d7, I mean, not really. Queen g5, queen e6. Same kind of concept, how to break. I think it's queen g5 again. Queen e6, just rook d6. It's like easy win. Yeah, I think it has to be. So now if he takes, we end up winning his knight, so... Yeah, just going for that. Could have done that without taking on g7, I think. But, uh, you know me. You know, just time to... Warm things up. Okay, give a check for uh, completely no reason. Okay, I'll need to like really speed up here. All right, just in time. All right, there we go. I think that was decent with all these destruction by Jonathan. I mean, how how bad of a person can you be to like donate five subs just to distract the streamer? <laughs> I think Jonathan is the first one in history to get shamed for giving money to a streamer. <laughs> all right, we did this one, boys. All right. We also had a brilliant move. What do you think he was? <sighs> um. Knight c4 was brilliant. See? The genius. The kid. Let's go. The prodigy. All right. Let me do that. Uh, let me do the professional streamer thing once again. So now you guys like to see these things. So. Gonna, you know, gotta ste step up the quality of how we run things around. So e4, as I told you, in this structure, they have pawn on c4, we go for e4 break. Just better already. And yeah, h4 apparently a little bit inaccurate. To be honest, um, yeah, I kind of didn't really consider um, knight to g5. But it was apparently a very strong move. Because there's like actually no way for him to stop. Like f5, but then f5 is I guess bad. So watch out, computer gives this. Then takes. Nice end game. Thank you for that. Circular, it's appreciate it. Hey, MC Donk, welcome to the stream. Just testing you to make sure you still got it. Well, I'm aging like everybody does, but still. Let's say I can maybe win some of these games. We don't put the losses on YouTube, of course. It's pretty funny people on YouTube think I win every single game. But you can check out my game record. You know, if you want to see like the hard truth. <laughs> but still, I'm winning most of the games though. <laughs> so just going H4. IG5 was just better there. This is still like okay. And now like the main thing I was considering was G6 and whether I can play H5. I was trying to calculate this line with H6 and I thought HG. Pawn takes and G7. I was trying to understand this position. It felt like this should be a win, but maybe King of 8 and not clear. Yeah, this is something I had in mind. And okay, if not uh, that, then okay, like computer just gives a knight DE4 move for some reason, you know, but... I guess we just take, queen comes over, rook f8, just hg, or bishop c4, this king is just so weak. Similar idea to what I eventually did in the game, but I wouldn't have probably found it that way. Now, this is huge blunder, he should at the very least play knight f8, if he doesn't like g6. And yeah, probably, I don't know what I, what I would have really played. Perhaps I would have gone knight df3, although it's a mistake maybe. h6 should have gotten back, and... Yeah, I think this is still kind of position with chances for both sides. It feels like I should be a bit better, but not that clear. But after that, I should be winning, but even better to win it in style, you know? 
just cast the best move and now 96 was a mistake because he can sack the exchange computer is a huge fan of just bringing in the pieces and come on if you if you want make a move take black's position and make a move try not to lose on the spot this is just terrible for him but i'm not that strong to understand it so i went for this and then i went for the unnecessary exchange sack well, it was not an exchange sack, but yeah, rook d8, rook d1, those were good moves. Queen g5 top line, queen g7 top line, queen g5 top line, and now rook d6 top line. Okay, at least this was uh, decent enough of a sequence. And then f4 was just clown move. I should have pushed the h pawn right away, push airy the h pawn. But now, okay, after he got in this, just easy when he was just about, he was trying to flag me, but... But I still got it. So, with that being said, I think we can just uh, jump into the next game. The next game may, may actually get us to 1900. You thought it's not possible. We're one game away. <laughs> uh, Alright, getting the white pieces. This time facing a fellow Romanian. And he starts with e6, which important to play bishop f4. So on c5 there is e3. Now we just play normal. Uh, yeah, I think e3 I recommend in the course. Knight f3 is fine to start as well against this move order. Hello, weird move. Let's see what he has in mind. Okay, opponent has the weirdest opening. This is the weirdest thing that I've seen for a 2000 rated guy to do. But it's pretty good because I actually had a masterclass or something like this recently. The masterclass uh, on the lawn for Chessable was talking about hippo kind of positions and how to beat them. We did not, uh, yeah, did not end up being like a hippo here, but could have been here. But after d5, it's no longer what I had in mind. It's just some kind of normal line. I could just do queen f3, queen h3. I could also think about g4, g5 or starting h4. We just do the queen move. Just keep it very casual. He's going to take and play knight d7. So we don't really mind. Just bring the queen over. Bring the knight, and then just do the jeep, horn push. Knight c5, step back. Okay, bishop there. I mean, maybe just bishop g3, f4. That should be good enough. Could also do knight f3. Bishop takes pawn, takes f6. No, I just like this, so he doesn't get f6 break, because f4 trapping his bishop. So I think it's better to keep here. Queen looks a bit ugly now, but it's it's all good. Queen is chilling. Queen is looking forward to mate the enemy king one day. So just f4 is idea next. Okay, that's a move, I guess. But we keep pushing. Bishop has to go to e7 now. And all right, how do we make progress? One idea is just to go bishop f2 and make room for this. He's going to try to break with f6 the way I feel... Uh, my opponent is playing. Hmm. You can also, by the way, just long castle. And do like e4. But that may give him a little bit of a target. Also could just do knight f3, but then knight e4. I think bishop f2 is simplest. I, I would love to activate sometimes, but it was just not possible. He actually has a plan. That is interesting. Okay, I think now just play positional. Could actually go just e4 right away. Could also go long castle. Yeah, now perhaps that he played only b6, it's winning a tempo to go long castle and just e4 now. Control d3, stopping his knight from checking me. I'm not gonna let his knight to check my king out, so. I can block, but I don't think we care. a3, b3, or b4. Maybe just keep... Uh, Pushing, pushing, yes, bishop g5, so I'm not interested to allow that. Maybe same idea to push g4. That looks good to me. Oh, by the way, bishop c5 idea is now potentially a thing. Especially with ed5, ed5, bishop takes, bishop takes, and then knight e4. Wait, this is some kind of genius plan that I have. 
Too bad it doesn't work. Like all my other plans, it never work. In only two minutes. No, I'm feeling this. This has to be good. E d5 maybe he takes with the queen though, which is not that nice. Okay, I think we just go for the exchange sack. Bishop e to g5. I think that's the play. I think that's how the cool kids are playing. Wait a minute, he's asking for it. He's begging for b4, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna give it to him. He's begging. Gotta attack the knight. And this is big flat. Okay. Only forward. Okay. Bishop is awakening. Let's see what he has in mind. Oh my god, I feel so bad for this. Opponent doesn't even know what's about to happen. I mean, come on, who's this opponent? What is he doing? Caution, this is Sparta. What are you doing? Some kind of Smurf account too, or what? <laughs> no, he's not. He's got like a lot of games. What is he doing? I mean, opponent. Do you want my rook? You can have it, mate. You can have that rook if you're like that greedy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be getting the mate. But, yeah, position was winning. Like, the only thing to stop this would be g6, but then there's the e. It's just, um, this position is simply collapsing. 